It's great. It's good to be home. Uh, thankfully, uh, really don't have any issues with jet lag. It's been good. So played uh, last Thursday, Friday out here. The course is in great shape. So looking forward to a, to a good week as long as this rain stays away for these few days. But uh, course in great shape. Obviously, the party hole behind us here is going to be a, a great atmosphere. So looking forward to getting to, to play it. So. The weather, the climate, um, waking up at four o'clock with birds screaming at you. Doesn't sound like fun, but it's good stuff you miss. You know, Dallas is, is very quiet with all those things, but just uh, the fam familiarity of everything. You know, you you go down and there's a coffee shop there, or whatever it is, it's just, it, it's nice to be home and have that, uh, the stuff that you grew up with. Um, really, uh, you miss it being in the States for so for so long, but it's uh, it's a great great time to come back and just enjoy with friends, family, all that sort of good stuff. It must be good to be winning on, on the tour as well, right? I mean, it gives yeah. you a sense that you, nothing's unachievable for you here. No, and that's uh, it's a great thing with the Champions Tour, and the great thing with golf is, you know, at 54, you can still play competitively against everyone, which, uh, you know, it's you're meeting different athletes across the world. They're just so happy for that. They wish they could be competing at that age still. But uh, to come back and, and to win last year was, uh, or this year was, was great. It's, you know, we're still working hard. It's not like we're out there just, uh, we're not old men just playing the game for the sake of it. We're, we're out there working hard, um, working on the game, and which then when you come back home, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I can compete out here. The course is, uh, I know the golf course, which is a huge advantage. So um, looking forward to a good week. Uh, yeah, but it's actually, it, to me, it's easier because it's a constant noise. It's always, people always say, oh, golfers, you know, you're so, you need to be quiet, quiet, quiet. It's not that. It's just that, that it's, if the noise is at the right time, it's when it's effective. But when a con it's a constant noise, it's fine. That doesn't bother you at all. So it's just dealing with the, the shop more than anything because it's a scary, little, it's, it's a great hole. I haven't seen it set up with all the, the tents and the marquees like this. So it's a... It's a great little hole, you know, when you have a wedge in your hand, you expect high expectations from yourself. So it's more so putting your own pressure on yourself to hit a good shot and you know, last thing you want to, well, I don't know if they do it here, but if they, if you miss a green, they boo you. I don't, you know, no one wants that. So um, you're really trying a little bit harder to um, focus and hit a good shot. What's it going to take to win uh, this week? Whoever does win, what's, what's the key to win? Well, the greens are firm. Course? Greens are nice and firm. It's, uh, it's playing difficult. It, it obviously hits the weather. It, it, the wind needs to blow. If the wind blows, I think it's uh, mid-teens. Um, if not, then sure, it, it can go a little bit lower. But um, I think the course isn't playing. In, it's in great shape. So I say again, if, the, if it doesn't blow, then yes, it'll be close to 20. If it does blow, it'll be early teens. Well, are, you, are you loving the, um, the um, fields that we're getting here for, uh, for this and for the, uh, for the Open? Uh, yeah, I think the fields are great and it's deserved. You know, we, we've got great events down here and it's, uh, I think it's, it, it's a shame that it's taken so many years to have the younger guys from around the world come and play. So it, it's good to see. It really is. You know, we have amazing golf courses down here and, and I think the guys can learn so much from our golf down here. It's, uh, it can, can only help their game. Yeah, like very similar distance wise. Obviously the wind is a is a factor. The, the only the you know the big difference there is that you can't miss this green. You know, there's water. So <laughs> it's the walk of shame to the drop area, which that's the difficult part. So yes, when you're sitting there and you see it's like a different like here we have the marquees where there it's the full water. So it's, you know, being able to distract yourself from the water and, and just, you know, focus on your shot. But, um, yeah, both very difficult shots. Uh, but that's that's part of it. We want to make things difficult. And whoever can pull off the good shot, then they're going to get rewarded for it. You don't get distracted by the noise that's here at the 17th hole. But what about people's movements and, you know, their dancing and throwing their hands up? Again, once there's a lot of people, it becomes a wall. So you don't really see individuals moving too much unless they're jumping out and doing crazy stuff like that. You, you'd really, if, if you're focusing on what you're doing, you really don't see that because it, it's a blur. If it was, again, if it's one person, then yes, you see that. But when it's uh, a thousand people, or I think 1,500 is the number we can get in here, I'm not sure. 3,000, okay, I was half there. <laughs> but yeah, so when the more people is, that that's fine. It, it really is, uh, if you're locked in on what you're doing, you shouldn't see that. 
Oh, absolutely. And it's a great feeling. You know, obviously, they have it in Phoenix. They've got the party hole. There's a few other events have that as well. So it, it's good. I think uh, as long as we don't go overboard with this amount of holes, but it, it's fun to have a, a hole like this. It's, uh, it gets the spectators, obviously, when you're standing there and you can see that they're, they're five yards away. It, it's nice and close, which normally doesn't happen. So it, it's a good fan uh, play interaction as well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's, what he's won now and, and what he's is in the future, we don't know. But yeah, he's well on the way. He obviously is a great player. He's. Um, I, I think it's an interesting time, obviously, with live golf and that. So there's not the the PGA Tour wins and the European Tour wins that he'll be able to to build on. But uh, and you know we still don't know what the future holds for that there. But uh, yeah, Cam, it, it's it's as I say, it's it's a tough one to sort of pick because you're not you you're not going to have these events to put against the players beforehand. And like you know, if they've won twenty thirty and now he's whatever he's won now, he's not going to add to that. So that's where it's a tough one to is he one of the greats of Australian golf? Is he not? But Right now, of course he is, and and it's it's only gonna he's you know he's only gonna get better as well. So, can he win the majors when he plays in them? Again, time will tell. But yeah, his games you know it's, it's impressive to watch. He's I think potentially the greatest putter right now out there, short game. So um, as long as he keeps doing what he's been doing, he'll 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 definitely get there. Um, yeah, it's just a shame that Liv and the tour have split so much that it doesn't allow a guy's career to to grow into being just one it's going to be this or this now which um yeah it, it's it's an interesting um interesting time for the guys coming through and where are they going to fit into the legendary status of the game just because they've split you know it's called for uh, some um, easier pin, pin, pin sort of contact placements here so it looks like might be some more well is that Cam said that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I say I didn't play last year, but oh yeah, when you look at the course here, there's I know there's the one down there, and I know there's not really that many hole in one chances here. There's the one on the front right, but the rest is uh, you know you got to hit good shots. But it's that's the way the green's designed. It, it's it's going to be a difficult one to have a hole in one. That front right is the is the that's the one where they can have a hole in one. But the guys are also damn good when you get a wedge in your hand again. But it comes to the weather. If it's blowing then yeah, good luck. I don't think there'll be too many, but uh, if it's a nice weather, then yeah, you've got a big chance. When, when wedges are in your hand, there's, there's gonna be some guys hit it super close. Cool, thanks. We've got one more and then we'll wrap it up. Yeah, I was gonna say too about coming home, did you, uh, did you get up to what's name, Caboolture? I haven't yet, no. I say I only just got in. Um, I'm here till January 12th, so um, my mum come down Friday. We had a, an event here on the golf course for, for juniors, so she came down and watched, but um, I told her that, that no, there'll be no visiting until after the, the PGA and then I'll uh, then we'll catch up and do all the good things.